Hi, I'm just going to show you how to do some volo plate taping. There's two different te techniques that we can use. Uh, one is the crisscross method, and the other is like a figure H. And I'll explain all of this as we go along. So first of all, you need some tape already set up. So 12 mil tape is ideal, and you don't want any elasticity to this. Um, so you want to put one piece around the flat middle bone. So you see, so the end bone, middle bone, um, proximal bone. The next piece goes around that proximal bone so it should look something like that to start with then the next piece is the crisscross piece but when you crisscross you need to make sure you've got your finger bent if you don't have your finger bent you won't get the the required stability so we bend we make a crisscross over the middle like so we keep our finger bent as we do this we crisscross the other way. Like so. And you can see here that this will prevent that end of range um, extension. To lock this off, simply use more tape to go around the end and then around the end again like so and that's very secure and that's as I said it's going to stop that end of range extension and just make sure you don't do it too tight because you're only cut off circulation now I'll show you the figure H way to do it on this one so for this the first piece of tape ideally you want it to be a little bit shorter than what I've made it you can always trim later so again slightly bend your finger pull the tape on the volar side so on the palm side all right, now if you do that, you'll feel that the tape won't allow you to straighten up. And then you can go, like what we did before, around the middle bone and around the bottom bone. Okay, so there's two different ways that you can do volar plate taping. Um, as I said, that piece is a bit long, so you wanna trim that off, uh, but they both stop that end of range extension.